Okay. Hey, Jason. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt your workout. This can wait. Really? Didn't sound that way on the phone. What are you doing back in town? Just taking care of family business. Spencer, why did you come here? This was sent to me. It looks like it was taken from the second floor of your house. Yeah, it does. So why do you sound not convinced? Look, after Allie disappeared, we got bizarre things in the mail. Sympathy cards from strangers and letters with conspiracy theories about what happened to her. Sometimes it was photos, blurry images of a blonde girl running away from the camera. Yeah, but, th but that's definitely Allie. And it's my yard, and it was taken the night that she disappeared. I mean, look, she's got the same yellow top on. Spencer, they have programs now that make Photoshop look like scissors and a glue stick. Look, I'll tell you what. My family hired a PI. I'll take the picture to him and see what he comes up with. Spencer. Ali's memorial was the hardest thing I've ever done. I was a jerk. I, I know that now. Well, that wasn't the term that I would have used, but it works. Jason. Your housekeeper let me in. She said I could wait for you here. So. What did your private investigator say? Well, the picture is real. And for all I know, I may have taken it. What do you mean you may have taken it? I honestly don't remember. I I'm not proud of it, but that whole August is a blur. I was high for most of it. You were? Are you surprised? Well. It's just, to me, you were always Allie's strange older brother. I mean, we never saw you. You were always behind a closed door. Yeah. Getting high with a bunch of losers. You remember that phony your sister used to date? Ian? Ian Thomas? We partied that whole summer. After he broke up with your sister, he practically lived at my house. But Ian's a triathlete. He's the poster boy for preppy. Poster boy by day and party boy by night. Convincing, though, isn't he? 